Hello, everyone. I just realized I put the scared face on. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> Regular face. Why? Why are you only detecting? There we go. Thank you. Thank you for working. Hello, everyone. I am Chesh of Zombie Cheshire Productions. I use she, her, and he, him pronouns. Uh, tonight, I'm VTubing because it I am kind of low energy. I am also probably going to have to mute myself a couple times. Uh, I've been coughing. And I don't want to have to have you guys listen to me cough. Uh, I have not started the game up because there is like an opening cutscene as soon as you open the game. So tonight we are playing War Groove. It's uh, not a game I have played before, but I'm really excited to play it because it's really cute. And look at the the icon is a cute little puppy dog. It, it looks like a little shibi and I, I like shibi. Shibis are super cute. So super, super excited. Uh, to play this. I also want to thank Neonic Zombie for following me just yesterday. And I'm gonna drink some of that good water. And let's get this, uh, let's get this crack a Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be a mouse game or a controller game. I've got both nearby. Uh, or whichever it is, so let's pull this up. <clears throat> <clears throat> characters. Okay, this seems super cool. I like the the art style. Oh, it's all pixely. And yeah, there looks like there's Multiplayer options. Let's see. Create your own maps. Share or download player made content online. That's super cool. Okay. I love the background over here. So that guy, that little dude over there is building like some kind of box warforged, it looks like. And there's little ducks. Extras. There's a gallery, a codex, and a jukebox. That's super cute. Oh, and. There's a character in the background just throwing some gold. I appreciate that. These little, I I now just want to see like all the screens. Oh, look at the little, 
little sleeping dryad. We got English, always animate, default. Yeah. I don't want to exit. What's the multiplayer? So there's local and online. Ooh. Look at the cute little bar. Oh, there's a fox. Hi, fox baby. Walking across the screen. All these screens are super, super cute. All right, so there is online options, which means potentially in the future I'll get to play with other people. All right. I'll have to see if uh, there's any friends who will want to play this with me in the future. Uh, there's an arcade puzzle mode and campaign, but campaign is the only thing open right now. So fight foes as you journey across our Arania. Let's get started. I love this music too. So main co-op or custom. We're gonna just do, I don't know what that icon means. Do I have to like download extra stuff? Uh, so we're gonna do main quest cause we are new to this. One rainy night at Cherry Stone Castle. This weather is giving me the spooks. Did you hear that? Cut it out, it's just thunder. But I'm er, going to go patrol the throne room. Hey, wait for me. So there is controller support. Ooh. <laughs> Sigrid, cowards, jumping at shadows and dropping their guard. <gasps> Ooh, she's pretty. Getting to the king shouldn't be much of a challenge. <laughs> there he is, all alone in his chambers. How convenient. The fewer guards I dispatch, the quicker this will be. But... Some unfortunate wretches still stand in my way. I'll start by defeating the one over there. I need to defeat the guard and clear the path to the king. Oh, so you gotta select? We're gonna attack. I need to defeat the guard and clear it. Uh, <laughs> oh, poor old guy. So the king's gonna have a move. It's time. Time my daughter learned the truth. But how do I tell her? Ooh. Ooh I'll make my way towards the king's chambers. Here and we'll wait. King's gonna do his thing. Mercia. On set, yeah, we're playing Wargroove. Uh, this is super cute so far. Um, kind of reminds me of Tactics, a uh, Final Fantasy Tactics a little bit so far. Uh, mixed with just general Final Fantasy feels. Um, like one of the first ones. And I'm really liking it so far. Thank you. Thank you for gifting this to me during your giveaway. <clears throat> I really like it. How are you tonight? Mercia, a long time ago, before Cherry Stone was Cherry Stone. Mm, no. This is laughably easy. Uh, is it gonna stay laughably easy? I'm good, playing some Stardew while watching you and my husby, hus, hubby plays a horror game. What horror game is he playing? And how's Stardew Valley treating you? I haven't played that one, but I, I like watching people play it. It's super cute. There was once a kingdom called Cacophony in a war known as the Great Dissonance. Hmm. 
He's playing The Fridge is Red. Ooh, that's not, that sounds interesting. The Fridge is Red. Red with, like, blood? Are they stowing blood in the fridge? Stardew has been good. Started it on my trip and got hooked again. Lots of new stuff added and new farms. Yeah, I heard they're still adding content, which is super cool. Um, I wish I could play farming sims, but they don't hold my attention for very long. Uh, I really wish I could play them better. But yeah, they just... They hold my attention for a very short amount of time, and then I just, I never return to them, and I feel really bad, because I know they're really popular games, I just, I'm not, I'm not good at, at, at them. <laughs> it's a, so, The Fridge is Red is a spooky game with mini stories. Oh, that sounds super cute. Is it, like, super scary? Or is it, like, cutesy, scary, Cheshi could handle this kind of thing? Because... <laughs> I'd, I'd be interested if it lays kind of like an RPG or something like that. This knowledge is too great a burden. Oh, Mercia. I'll let you know when he's done. So far it seems, it just seems spooky. I can appreciate spooky. I I do have a question for you, Sut. Uh, do you have a copy of this game? Because apparently it's, it's multiplayer. And if you have a copy, we could potentially play this together in the future, and it would be really fun to play some of the multiplayer options, if you got it. Hmm, this castle is vast. I will check. I might, but I don't remember. If you don't, it's all good. It's super cute so far. Seriously, thank you. If I access the overview screen, I can get a glimpse of its a glimpse of its true extent. I just need to select an unoccupied tile and pick overview. You're welcome. The sc this screen provides me with objectives and statistics. Hmm. So many humans, how unpleasant. Still, I can avoid most of them. As my objective says, I'm here for the king. I can close this now and return to my task. So be to close. <laughs> Time to defeat a few more hapless guards and make my way to the king's chamber. We have so many game keys, we might have to do more steam more stream giveaways. Oh my goodness. You you guys do a lot of the uh, charity humble bundles, right? I know we were kind of considering those at one point and doing some Steam, uh, Steam Key giveaways. Uh, yes, they are really good. Oh, yeah, I, I've been getting the emails now. <laughs> uh, oh, you're partnered with Humble. So what is that? What does that entail? Like, if someone My buys food. under or like joins under your account, do you get paid for that? Because if so, <laughs> I uh, I I'm curious. I'll start slowly, my darling bluebird. I need to tell you something. I feel like we're not. Or he's not going to get to tell his darling bluebird anything. Yeah, we get a little something when someone buys through Humble. I'll check the exact deeds. Okay. I'll have to keep that in mind so that I can use, like, your guys' promo stuff if I go and buy something through Humble, because if I have friends that can get paid through it, I might as well do that and make sure you guys are getting paid. That's that's really cool that you guys are partnered with Humble. That's amazing, actually. <laughs> it's a very long story about something that happened very long ago. I'm actually gonna feel bad for this king here. 
he's not gonna get to tell his daughter nothing. Goodbye. Oh, she talks. <laughs> the little ghosties that fly out of the guys when they die. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute <sighs> detail. A very long time ago indeed. Why can't the past stay the past? Well, dude, it's kinda... Kinda how it goes. <laughs> True. We should really remind each other, haha, when we partner with things. I can let you know of a couple things we're with if you're interested in checking them out. Hi! Yeah, we'll, we'll chat on uh, Discord. Because I'm curious, and I like to support friends if I can. <laughs> At last. You! How did you. Uh oh. What? Sigrid! <laughs> uh oh. Humans are so frail. Do you understand what you've just done? You'll start a war! <sighs> war? The inane squabble of children? Where is the key? Safe hands. You'll never have it. The key is in safe hands. Far from the grasp of a monster like you. <laughs> safe hands, before you die, understand this. Nothing is safe from me. Listen. You're making a mistake. Hush now. <laughs> oh, snap. <sighs> Still, the key eludes me. No matter. <laughs> it's close. I can feel it. It's interesting that the tutorial has you playing as the bad guy. It's kind of cool. Don't usually get that. I, I appreciate that. I wonder if we're going to get to pick what side we're on, or if we're going to play possibly both sides. Yes. Well done, princess. Your skill with the cherry blade proves yet improves yet further. <laughs> Thank you. Woof. Oh, it's a puppy. Woof. Is the bork bork. It's all right, Caesar. It's just one of the royal guard. Lord Emmerich. Mm -hmm. Is this important? You disturb the princess's lessons. Main character is a girl. Hack you. Androgynous. Female character for the win. Yes. Awesome. Yes. My king. The king, my lord. The king has been killed. What? What? No. Oh, no. No, father. I'm sorry. Mercia, I'm so sorry. Ugh. Who did this? Sir, the assailant appears to have been a the the vampire. Ooh, so the the vampires in this game have ears like kitties. The Felheim Legion. Princess Mercia, the murder of your father is an act of war. We must defend the kingdom. War? We're at war? Oof, that's a big thing to get handed to you. You've unlocked more lore about Emmerich. Awesome. <laughs> Ah! Little trudgy noises. Oh, so if we go back here, we redo the the prologue mission. Oh, interesting. An unsure Mercia faces her first test as Monarch of Cherry Stone. Let's play the mission. Several months later. My queen! Congratulations on your cor coronation, Queen Mercia. Emmerich, do you really think I'm ready to be a queen? I have no doubt. You are your father's daughter. Hmm. 
I hope you're right. Ah! Your Majesty, Felheim scouts have breached the border. What? They're here in Cherry Stone? Let's go. I can do this. <laughs> I know you can. Wait, your majesty, your crown. Ooh, little skeletons. These skeletor these skeletal warriors are Felheim troops. We must defeat them all to dis to secure this region. We should begin by attacking the closest red swords. Red swords, I believe that is a Final Fantasy character or a uh, creature from the early games uh, with our unit of swordsmen and they are, I believe, uh, skeletons as well. That's cool. Right, let's get this over and done with. Oh, we were so, for some reason off screen. Let's move the unit of swordsmen to the forest and attack the dread sword. Yep. There we go. Yay! <laughs> so cute. <clears throat> Notice the numbers have that have appeared next to the two battling yeah. units. Yeah, there's a little number next to each of them. These represent the unit's health. They appear when it drops below 95%. The number five indicates that the dread sword is down to around 50% health. Hmm. And my swordsman is down to about 80% health. Very Got it. Well. Then let's attack the dread sword with our second swordsman. My queen, may I interject for just a moment? When selecting a target, a damage preview will appear above its head. I noticed that. The damage preview indicates that what damage will be dealt by both units during combat. Sounds handy. You see, the health of a unit suggests more than how, to, how close it is to defeat. The more damage the unit takes, the weaker its attack power becomes. Oh, okay, interesting. So a healthy unit is a stronger unit. Makes sense. Indeed, but it looks like your swordsman will do just fine here. Little ghosty. So that was turn one. Oh no. What? More undead. <laughs> Seems they're not giving up quite yet. Ah, the little clicky clacky bones. Clicky clacky bones! <laughs> Friendly reinforcements have arrived! Hi, Starwind! How are you? We are playing Wargroove, and this is turning out to be really, really cute. And I appreciate the aesthetic of it. I like the main character so far. And this this gives me good Final Fantasy feels, so I'm I'm really digging this. Plus the icon for the game is a really cute little shibi, and it's super cute. Never heard of this one before? I hadn't either until I won a giveaway for it on uh, Sut the Wild Mage up above uh, who's here. Uh, they had it in a giveaway on their channel, and I won it in... E just in the nick of time. Look, it looks like we've been provided a new unit type. Pikemen. This might be a good time for you to learn about critical hits. Uh, critical hits? Yes. All the units have conditions under which their attacks are stronger. We call these attacks critical hits. I've never heard of those. Do not worry, my queen. This information is easy to find. Let me show you how to find information about this unit's crit. We should find out more about the pipe. Okay. <coughs> 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 
sorry for coughing. This is the tile info screen. So these are slower, more powerful infantry critical hit when adjacent to another spearman. So if they're right next to each other, they should be good. Stone roads that speed along big wooden wheels but offer little protection. What? Here we find useful information about our selected unit. This part gives us a good overview of the unit. Hmm, the pikeman crits when adjacent to another pikeman. You can bring up this info screen on any unit, terrain, or structure. Use it often and you'll learn fast. Alright, I'll make sure to check it often. When you're ready, you can close this window. Very well. We should make sure the pikemen stick together. Got it. So these guys, we want to keep close to each other. We've lined up our first pikemen. Let's attack the dread sword with our second pikemen. That was indeed my plan. Let me draw your attention to the damage preview once more. Oh, the arrow is flashing. Well spotted, a flashing arrow in the damage preview is a good sign. It indicates that you're about to land a critical hit. Wee! Poke, poke, poke. You stood no chance. Mm -hmm. Thanks to the placement of placement of the first yeah. pikeman, the second pikeman dealt a critical hit. <laughs> she learns fast. Ha ha ha. Keeping your pikemen together will ensure a stronger offense. When encountering a new unit type, it's important to learn about their crit. I'll leave you to defeat the rest of these Felheim troops. Thank you. Thank you, Emmerich. I can't do this. I couldn't do this without you. So those guys already moved. So now we're gonna go over here. Hmm. We're gonna go here and we're gonna wait. They're vulnerable to pikemen, but we're gonna move over here and we're gonna attack. That's a better chance. Oh no! No! Duh, <laughs> the noise is. Alright, so. Take care of that guy. I love the little ghosties that spawn out. Super cute. Hurts. Hi. My my little one and husband just walked in and they presented cheese curds. Uh, War Groove. I'm, I'm getting him some cheese for
of them. Well done, my queen. Starwind, if you like Final Fantasy Tactics games, you might enjoy this. You might enjoy this one. It's super cute. <coughs> Puppy dog! We did it! A good start, but Felheim won't stop there. We must remain vigilant. You don't think you've played Final Fantasy Tactics? Uh, what was the other game this was compared to? Um... Oh gosh, what was the other other game that people were comparing this one to. Uh, I know it was a pretty popular um, RPG strategy series. And there's a lot of cool characters to it. Um, oh god. I'm so, ga I'm so bad at remembering game right now. They'll be back? Oh, yeah. Yes. You think? <laughs> yes, and in greater numbers. Uh. A whole horde of skeletons. Indeed, and much else besides. I'd forgotten you had so little experience with the undead. <sighs> Cherry, Cherry stone is normally so peaceful. I've never seen them here before. But now they're coming, and they won't stop. <laughs> to puppy sniffing in the background. Sniffy sniffs. An undead army. All undead but one. We've spoken in your lessons of their leader, Valder. A living man and... Yeah! And a necromancer of great power. I haven't forgotten. Is he the king's brother? Is that... Is that what's going on here? He's the king's brother, but no one wants to tell her. Oh, I swear. I swear if that's... Well, we should make a move. The undead are likely to be advancing upon other parts of the kingdom. Uh. Emmerich, do you think Volder will come to Cherry Stone himself? Yes. <gasps> I just got gifted sushi. I got gifted sushi, and she's Kurtz. I don't. I don't deserve this. <laughs> Thank you! I can't get it open! <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Sushi! I got gifted sushi and she's Kurtz. Yes, your majesty, I do. Your majesty, wait! <laughs> they want you to wear your crown! Victory! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yay! Unlearn- <laughs> I love how the oak- like, the- the enter, go on button is awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna have to read some of this lore, too. Where can I do that? Codex? Ah, oh, look at this. Okay. 
Oh, there's a lot of codex stuff. Okay. Though Mercia must find her feet as the new ruler of Cherry Stone, her inexperience is counteracted somewhat by her commitment, loyalty, and compassion. She is a talented commander and a natural leader, though she still needs the guidance and support of her friend and tutor, Emmerich. Personal history and ethos. Mercy and Emmerich. Emmerich has always been in Mercia's life, and she can't imagine a world without him any more than she could a world without her father. After the death of Mercia's mother when she was just six, Emmerich's steady, quiet, loving presence kept her and her father going. Officially, Emmerich is Mercia's tutor, but she has always considered him family, as did her father. Aww. Let's learn about Emmerich, since he was like the first lore that we unlocked. Emmerich is an immensely powerful mage, well versed in arcane lore. He is a scholar and his knowledge, alongside his tactical know-how and compassionate wisdom, have made him an in indispensable advisor to the Cherry Stone throw throne. Beyond that, he is a kind, if reserved, individual who cares fiercely for the late King Merceville and his daughter, Merce Mercia. Personal history and ethos. Emmerich is the youngest son of a noble Cherry Stone family. His siblings, twins, were 15 years his senior, which meant that he had a somewhat solitary childhood. He took refuge in his studies and devoured books voraciously. From a young age, he showed a deep interest in and a talent for the arcane magical arts. He was a dedicated student who soon outstripped his tutors to become the leading mage of his generation. I, oh, you can read about the puppy. I am, en I enjoy the uh, background information and all the the codex stuff for the characters. <clears throat> and there's even a lore tab. I can tell I'm really going to dig this game. Uh, this is fantastic. <laughs> Caesar, a magnificent and majestic canine, Caesar leads armies with wordless dignity. His mere presence is enough to inspire and guide troops through battle. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's adorable. Some really cool characters. So Sigrid is who we played in the opening for the tutorial. So Sigrid is a high vampire, an ancient being of pro prodigious power. She serves Volder, Lord of Felheim, and he considers her his most reliable subordinate. Like the icy wastes of her homeland, Sigrid is cold and brutal. Ooh. So here's all our units that will eventually get it. Ah, battle pop. Battle pup! Ah! So cute! Oh my goodness. An Emberwing? A knight? Oh, these are cute. Oh, you get to control Merfolk? Okay, I might be spoiling stuff for me. Witch, Harpy, Gollum, Ballista, Barge, Villager, Rogue, Marksman. This is cool! Cherry Stone, a peaceful place where pastoral grasslands give way to lush meadows and cool emerald forests. While the Cherry Stone Kingdom is caught between the harsh snowscapes of Felheim to the west and the hazardous wilds of the Gloomwood, Gloomwoods to the east, the kingdom for the most part manages to exist in its own tranquil state. Be wary of their eastern neighbors, Cherry Stone s While wary of their eastern neighbors, Cherrystone citizens are rarely actually troubled by f the Florin, provided humans don't accidentally wander into the gloom woods. The same cannot be said of their neighbors to the west, where the border with Felheim requires constant vigilance. Occasionally over the centuries, leaderless hordes have stormed the border, intent on pillage and plunder, while every few generations, whoever happens to be the current wielder of the fell gauntlet decides to make a foray into Cherry Stone in a vicious attempt to expand Felheim's borders. Thus, the Cherry Stone's army is forced to remain on guard at all times. Oh. 
And then it's got all the rules for the game. Okay. Well. A plague of skeletons. The, uh, the Felheim invasion begins with in earnest. The stumbling over my words today. Haha, <laughs> the clicky claggies. Leave my villagers alone! No! The kingdom's overrun with Felheim soldiers. <laughs> we have to do something. Hmm? We will hold what land we can. Hmm. Maybe if we... Not so fast. Ooh, huh? New character. Who are you? <laughs> I'm the person that's going to smash, bash, and pulverize you. I'm okay with that. Call me Ragna! Okay. Hi, Ragna. You can call me. Uh. <laughs> All right. Fight me! <laughs> okay. You're adorable. Oh no, they took my building. Did you see that? The Felheim hordes just captured a village to the west. They'll attempt to claim the neutral village to the east unless we stop them. Let's then let's stop them. Yes. Luckily, a cherry stone ranger is here to help us. Rangers are units that can attack enemies from a distance. Let's move into a position where it can attack by any where it can attack any approaching undead. Sounds good. There we go. Let's move there. From this position, our ranger can attack any enemies approaching from the Very west. Well. When you want to end your turn, select an unoccupied map tile, then select end turn. Ranged ground units able to move and attack in the same turn. Critical hits when stationary. Ooh. So as long as you keep them there for a while, they will get critical hits. That is cool. End turn. Alright, so in theory, are you remembering to check the unit info screen to learn about critical hits? Yeah. Good, then you'll know that ranger's crit if they attack without moving. We'll attack the dread sword without moving the ranger now. Now we need to select the tile from which to perform the attack. But since we don't want the archer to move, we simply select the same tile again. Okay, so that's how you do that. Attack. Sweet! Yeah! We did it! You may have defeated those soldiers, but it's not over yet. The enemy owns a barracks. This will enable them to recruit new units. Uh-oh. Fortunately, we have access to a barracks of our own. We should select it to recruit a new unit at once. Okay, I'm on it. The barracks lets you recruit three different unit types. Swordsmen, pikemen, and rangers. That's right, but due to our current funds... I can only afford a swordsman right now. A single swordsman can make a big difference. Let's recruit one now. Note that each barracks can only recruit a single unit per turn. Right, I'll make sure to remember that. Select our new swordsman and order it to move and capture the new village. Hey, hey, hey. 
guitars now. Yeet. <laughs> Excellent work, my queen. Villages bring in 100 gold every turn, so, we're so they're incredibly important to the war effort. Right, because more gold means we can report, recruit more units. Correct. In fact, we can cripple the enemy's income by taking their village to the yes. west. To capture a village that is owned by a different faction, we must first defeat mm. it. Then I'll recru recruit more units straight away and order them towards that village. Some units are more effective than others at defeating structures, such as villages. I advise you to rely on the pikeman's powerful crit for this job. Alright, I'll recruit the pikeman and send them toward the enemy village. More reinforcements. That's not good. Enemy reinforcements to the north. They'll no doubt be heading towards your northern villages. I should have known they wouldn't make this easy for us. I suggest you don't leave the north path unattended. I'll make sure to leave a unit, unit to protect the northern villages. So, objective is neutralize enemy structures. So, first things... Get another pikeman. And then. Wait there. Wait there. guys are going to move forward. Oh, okay. Uh, wait there. Oh, right. We got to attack. Um, we're going to get a pikeman. We're going to move this pikeman. Here. He's gonna wait there. That one. Alright. Sacrificing a troop, technically. Take those guys out. We'll get a critical hit here. Ranger. 
We'll move this guy here. And this guy forward. I think I'm I'm starting to get this. Or hope. We're doing okay. You want to get another ranger? Let's put that ranger right there. I'm gonna move this pikeman there. This pikeman there. A little crit. And then. Crit these guys. <clears throat> Back down to one. We got this. We didn't stand a chance. My bad. <laughs> that guy there. That guy there. This guy, I'm going to move up here. Get another pikeman. We'll end our turn. Should be able to get this next turn. In theory. <laughs> We're gonna critical hit these guys. I think, but I should, in theory, be able to get that guy on a crit hit. Heck yeah, there we go. What? What? How did this happen? Excellent, you've cleared the enemy from the village. You should capture it to secure it before Ragna takes it back. Got it. Forward, we're gonna get another swordsman. And they're gonna wait up there. We'll end our turn. And Ragna couldn't do much, so now we're gonna go like this. Capture the village. Yeah! Ah! Be mad. Well done. With no villages, the enemy has no income. Mm -hmm. You notice that a captured structure never begins with full health. In fact, it starts with the equivalent of half the capturing unit's health. So if a unit with 40% health captures a village, the village starts with 20% health? Yes. 
Now we should destroy their barracks to completely remove them from this yeah. region. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna move everyone forward. Except for these guys. So... Alright. End turn. Uh-oh. Oof. That's, this is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. In fact, we're gonna take them out. So, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> um... We're gonna move here. This guy here. He's gonna stay nearby. This guy is gonna go there. And we're gonna end turn. Pretty good. Pretty good, I think. So we're gonna start right here. We're gonna attack and crit. Should take them out. Yep, there we go. And then this guy is gonna move forward. This guy is going to also move forward and wait. And we're going to end turn. Now, if she has no income, she shouldn't be able to summon too many units. In theory, anyway. guys and those guys up there they're not really doing much so end turn could probably be using them but I feel like they should stay up there you're just gonna sacrifice your guys I'm gonna take you out all right so this guy is going to attack this unit and just take them out. Well, this guy goes right here. And this guy goes right here to attack that with a crit. guy will just have weight over there. He's mostly just here for critical hits as needed if we lose one of the critical hits. Eh, we're gonna take your barrack out. Critical hit your barrack. No! Haha! This is not <laughs> happening. I'm Rick, we did it. Good work. Chatter, chatter. <gasps> Go away. <laughs> chatter, chatter. <sighs> I said go away. <laughs> what? What are... I said go away. Oh, it's you. Yeah. Yeah? Uh... I, um, didn't mean to disturb you. You didn't disturb me. I was lying in wait. 
<laughs> uh huh. Right. Shut up! Ooh. She got ah! some attitude. This isn't over. Oh, I only got a B. What did I do wrong? You unlocked Felheim in the Codex. Awesome. I didn't, I didn't gold star it though. Should I go back and do it again? Unhappy with her defeat, Ragna decides to take matters into her own hands. Whatever. So you won. Who even cares? All you did was beat up a few lousy, stinking skeletons. Oh, I won't hold back! I care, and I won't stop until my kingdom is safe. Oh, my good puppy. Uh, Enough messing around. I'll crush you! Between them packs. Is that what you mean? Mm -hmm. Ragna has moved deep into this region. She's even got a stronghold. A stronghold is a really important structure that anchors a faction to a region. To win, we can either defeat the stronghold or Ragna herself. I understand. I'm joining this fight personally. Look, over there, one of our knights has beaten us here. Knights are strong, fast-moving units. <coughs> However, they're unable to capture structures. Only infantry and commanders can do that. Knights sound great. Let's get started. Hold your horses. It seems this knight is low on health. Uh. Is there something we can do to help? Indeed there is. This is where reinforcement comes into play. Simply move a wounded unit next to one of your structures and select reinforce. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Sadly, structures are unable to regain health through reinforcement. However, their health will gradually be restored over time, as will that of certain units. All structures gain 10% health every turn. And all commanders, such as yourself, gain, regain 5%. That's cool. Yay! <laughs> Excellent, our knight's back to full health. Yes. yes, though it's important to note that reinforcing has its drawbacks. First, reinforcing a unit costs an amount of gold proportional to the unit's value. And second, the health restored to the unit is taken from the health of the structure. Got it. Reinforcements cost gold and transfers health from the structure. Okay, I should start by taking control of these barracks and nearby villages. Capturing is mine. Mwahaha. Now we're gonna move over here and wait. Rodno's probably gonna capture that village. Yeah, of course. As is tradition, she can move quite far. Okay. As commanders, you and Ragna are both powerful units on the battlefield. You can easily take down most infantry units and enemy structures single-handedly. Yo! Hello, beastie! How are you? Make the most of your strengths as commander without risking your neck. Remember, the team that loses their commander also loses the battle. Sorry, there's no chocolate. I was gonna make you talking off, but if you don't have it, I can make the No, you don't. Thank you. My husband made me chicky tendies! Homemade ones! And they smell really, really good! Oh my gosh, I'm so spoiled right now. Oh no. Hi, Jessie. Hi, Starwind. I am good, still in the gender fields. Nice! I, I saw that art. It's super cute. Your, uh, your, your artist did an amazing job. Do you, do you all want to see the food? Do you all want to see the food? I can, I can turn on some face cam if y'all want to see food. Because, ooh, those are hot. Those just came out. Ouchies. 
Hobble Bonk is really cute. So, forgive me, I do not look fantastic right now. I, I'm, I'm kind of a mess. But look at homemade chicky tendies. Homemade. I actually gotta close my window. Homemade chicky tendies. And then I also have some cheese curds. And sushi. Philadelphia roll. Ah, dad mode. Yeah, he he's kind of dad moding me right now. I feel like. Because my, my mental health has been kind of... <laughs> no, he didn't make the sushi. Uh, honestly, we're really bad at making sushi. Uh, but he got this from the store for me. And the store that we go to actually has some pretty decent sushi. So it's a Philadelphia roll, which is my favorite. And then, yeah, the... <laughs> in a Sakura bowl, because my, my small one stole the bucket. Uh... But I, got, I got cheesy curds, and I'm gonna have to wait to eat the chicky tendies because they're very, very hot from just coming out of the fryer. But they're they're homemade, and they smell amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Tacti, if you're on. Go back to <laughs> I meant dad mode as a joke response to you saying you're not looking your best. Uh, maybe. Not really in dad mode right now. I'm kind of just in existence mode, <laughs> for being honest. But I feel really spoiled with food right now. I won't let you down. Okay, I can do this. Destroy the enemy stronghold or defeat Ragna. So, uh, BC, this is um. This is War Groove. And welcome, welcome. Uh, this is super cute. <coughs> and I've been coughing. Forgive me. The spoiled blob mode. Blob is in it, just existing, not a mark on your appearance. No, spoiled blob mode is accurate. Indeed. Um, I accept that. <laughs> I am. I am spoiled blob. I am okay with that. I have a SpongeBob square chest. I I don't know. Pikeman. Yeah, there's a puppy unit, and I can't wait until we unlock those because they're super super cute. Uh. <laughs> Ragnar just recruited a Dread Spear, a Felheim Spearman. SpongeBob Square Chest, SpongeBob Square Chest, SpongeBob Square Chest. It would be prudent to check the Spearman's info screen. Ooh, you can check on enemy units. Slower, more powerful infantry. Let me direct your attention to the table at the bottom. This table lets you tells us which units the spearman is especially effective against. Oh no, it says they're effective against cavalry. Yes, spearmen will deal extra damage against units such as our knight. Go ahead and close this window when you're ready. Okay, so we've got to keep our... We should make sure not to put our knight in any unnecessary danger. This would be a good time to check the enemy's movement range. Hmm. How do I do that? <laughs> Let me show you. By holding this button, you can display how far a selected unit can move. Awareness of the enemy's range is important when positioning your units. I should keep the knight out of reach of the dread spear. Good thinking, my queen. For now, he is okay. And... Hmm... We need another pikeman. Move right there and wait. He is okay there for the moment. But if that pikeman gets closer, I'll have to move him. 
to move this guy over here. Move right there. And I think that's about all I want to do right now. Interesting. Hmm, this part of Cherry Stone is more forested than I remember. Yes. We may be able to use this to our advantage. Different terrain types have different advantages and disadvantages. You may not have noticed that traveling through the forest will slow you hmm. down. Now that you mention it, I also noticed that units struggle with mountains. Mm -hmm. Additionally, some terrain will increase or, or decrease the defense of a unit. Forests will give you a boost in defense, while rivers will make you vulnerable. You can read more about each terrain type by checking its tile info. I will. Thanks, Emmerich. Back over here. At least try to take out part of their unit. And then move forward. Attack. Ah, oh, useless skeletons. If you surrender, we can just end this now. We don't have to keep fighting. Never! because I'm just trying to protect my person. And if we wait another turn, we can get a ranger. So... End turn for now. <clears throat> oh, they got a ranger now. So yeah, the monsters movie. What did you think? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what did you think of the uh the monsters? <laughs> did you like it? <laughs> Genuinely curious if you enjoyed it. Um I personally thought it was a bit goofy. Right, got a couple laughs from me. I wasn't a big fan of what felt like negative Romani stereotype. Yeah, there was a lot of that. I I fully agree there was a lot of not good stereotyping going on. Um It it was interesting. It it didn't I don't know, it didn't seem like the monsters to me. It It seemed just kind of like they were poking fun at the monsters more than actually making a monster in this movie. Because everyone just kind of seemed dumb, <laughs> to, to put it lightly. I don't know. I I wanted to like it. I really wanted to like it. Yeah, I was tired of that too. It was... 
it wasn't needed. It, it didn't further the plot. It was just kind of annoying. Um, as a movie, I'm just gonna say it happened. You know? It's a movie that happened. Ragnar's attacking me. Stab her. <laughs> Adam's family just shows a better couples dynamic. It does. Um, it shows a better couples dynamic, but also... It just... I don't know. It... Something about the movie rubbed me the wrong way. There's less his hostility in the Adams family. Yeah, it, it's a little more wholesome. For sure. I'm not gonna do a lot of damage, but. Adam's family, definitely better. Uh, I don't know that I want Rob Zombie touching the Adam's family. Rob Zombie is good with making fun horror movies. I'm not sure fun um, family movies is really his style. Honestly tired of a whole woman's father not approving of her fiance and trying to end her wedding kind of thing. Yeah, that's annoying to me. That's definitely... Yeah, that, that... That didn't seem like the kind of dynamic that I got from original uh, monsters. It just kind of... I don't know. It made everything fall very flat. And at the same time, while the graphics and everything were interesting, it was kind of boring. Oh my. Hey! Hey! I just got gifted a pumpkin cupcake too! What is going on? What? What's going on? There was no counterpoint given to Grandpa. He wasn't called out on it. Didn't have a bond bonding moment with Herman or anything to show the character felt. No, he was just suddenly okay with moving to America and turning his servant into a bat. It it fell really flat. Um, honestly, Hocus Pocus two uh, out of recent cozy kind of movies. Uh, Hocus Pocus 2 is a lot better. <laughs> Turn me into a bat instead. Yes. <laughs> I wish to be a bat.
Haven't seen that one yet, but I heard it was good. It, it came across as a little bit of a money grab, but honestly, um, I will take slight money grab over what they did with with the monsters. So. It's absolutely a money drop, yeah. I'm mostly here, I'm a sick moogle. Oh no! I'm sorry you're sick. I honestly haven't been... I haven't been feeling good either myself, so... I'm, I'm sorry you're sick. My Gudra is a money grab. I mean, what? No! Get out of my I might way. actually get defeated by that. Um. I am very not good. <clears throat> my dudes! Uh-oh. Gonna have to move my horsies away. Although, I can just go over here and attack. I won't fail. So there's that. Another pikeman we can move forward. And we can get another pikeman unit out there. Uh, yeah, they can surround me. Um gotta move this guy back. No, I don't want to reinforce it. I just want to wait. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Doing my best, and that's all I can really do. Uh, I mean, if I can. Uh oh. I'm only gonna do 1%. Um, no. We'll refrain. And we'll just end turn. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I have so much food in front of me. I, I don't even... Uh-oh. Not good. All right. Uh, <clears throat> and then. But that's okay. Move this guy here. Move this guy right here and attack. We'll make this work. I think I might be able to just take her out as a commander. No, um. This guy out. Brace yourself. <clears throat> and then 
don't have any swordsmen on the field, I don't think. Oh, yeah. I forgot to turn that off. Oops. Contributing to the totem. <laughs> Uh-oh. My horsies! You know what? And then... We're gonna attack down... Hail Hydrate! Thank you for the Hydrate! stretchies. Thank you, thank you. We're just gonna attack Ragna. She's cornered. Surrounded by me, so she can't... She can't do much. I swear if he's bringing me get more food. This yes! We have defeated Ragna! <laughs> you did it! Phew, that was tough. <laughs> and she's pouting again. <laughs> I lost? That's impossible. Huh. Impossible. You must have cheated. No. <laughs> you cheated, didn't you? No. no. Uh... It seems pretty difficult to have a reasonable conversation with you. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. Yeah! You'd better run. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh! Lord Volder! Ragna! Quiet, Ragna. You disgrace yourself. <laughs> Stand aside and let me fix your mess. Uh-oh. Oh, I got C rank. Yay! You got crank. Yeah. I love you. Um, there's so much food. Oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you. Um, yes, thank you. I did it. I defeated Ragna. Um, I think. I will try to enjoy the rest of this tomorrow. And I know. I will finish the cheese curds. Like, the chicken is really, really good. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> so it says, you unlocked additional lore about Ragna. And the, the continue on button is awesome. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. With Cherry Stone overwhelmed, Mercia must get her people to safety. Uh oh. Hmm. So we meet at last, Queen of Mer Queen Mercia of Cherry Stone. My queen. My queen. That's Volder, Lord of Felheim Legion. Master of the Fell Gauntlet. Volder! That's Volder? Oh no. <laughs> Ragna has power, but lacks discipline. I fall short on neither. <sighs> this is a battle we cannot win. So we retreat, but where do we go? The Gloomwoods. It's our only option. The Gloomwoods? But... Oh, poor puppy! <laughs> Does the Queen of Cherrystone give up her throne so easily? Girl, oh, puppy get mad. It's okay, Caesar. Let's go. Let's start the retreat. We have no choice. Huh? As word spread, does everyone know we're leaving? They do. The citizenry has are is already on the move. 
They're coming via the West Road, but the Felheim Legion isn't far <laughs> behind. We have to get them out of here, fast. Mm -hmm. Indeed, we had best use the wagon to ferry them toward our stronghold. Vehicles like these carry a lot of ground on roads especially. They're the fastest way to reach the front line. I suggest you climb onto this one yourself and then order it towards the villagers. Yes! Now you can move the wagon south, closer to the location of the villagers. The wagon can only hold one unit at a time, and villagers count as a unit. When you arrive, exit the wagon using drop... I'm in the wagon. So that the villagers can climb aboard. I need to move the wagon further south, towards the villagers. That's what I said. Okay, I made it. I better get these villagers back into yes. the wagon. Yes, you can drop them off near our barracks. Now I'm here. I can look out for enemy troops. Yes, and with the whoop. Wagon near the barracks, you're able to ferry more units to your side. Alternate use of the wagon to transport our troops to battle and... Or alternate the use of the wagon to transport your troops to battle and the villagers to safety. Yeah. I will. Thank you, Emmerich. Alright, so we gotta get this guy on the wagon. And we're gonna get, I think, a ranger, honestly. Um, these guys I wanna keep together. This guy can carry, a, cover a lot of ground. So we're gonna go over here. All right, here goes the bad guy. <coughs> no. Oh, careful. The Felheim Legion, I have to protect the villagers. What if we lose one of our groups? Go, as a commander, you're strong enough to handle the first wave on your own. here and he's gonna attack the ranger up here. And this villager needs to move slowly towards safety. This guy is gonna move down here. My queen. More refugees have arrived on arrived on the west road and others are to follow. Make sure the guys stay safe. Hello! Hello! Thank you for all the delicious food, Tactafail. I gotta... I forgot to get rid of some things for the, uh... For teams. <laughs> go over here. Gonna load this guy. This guy's gonna attack. Why 
Why is she on fire? Don't want to get close to the pikemen, so... Move that guy over there. Um... Critical over here. Woohoo! Check out a unit over here. That's good. Now we gotta move this guy. This guy is gonna go over here. We're gonna get another pikeman. The be partners with this dude. Also gonna make his way over here. Uh, this guy. Move right there. And then get a crit. You tried. You tried, Mr. Skeleton. You're not gonna stand a chance, dude. But I appreciate the effort. Well, the bad guys are the blue skeletons. I feel... I don't know. Fired up? It's your groove, Queen Marcia. You have charged it for the very first time. Grooves are a gift. Well, honey, the bad guys are the skeletons. Commanders like you and I charge them as we battle. No one's playing the skeletons. They're computers. You must use your groove to benefit your forces. I want to use it to heal them. Focus your energy and cast a healing aura. It will... Restores some measure of health to you and any nearby friends and a allies. Tactical advantage. When used at the right time, this ability may very well turn the tide of battle. <laughs> Groovy. Yeah. I'm here to help! Healing aura! <laughs> Gregarious Groover! <laughs> that was amazing! I can do that all the time? Mm -hmm. Only when you have fought enough to... enough to charge your groove fully. The charge will slowly build up on its own, but fighting and defeating enemies will accelerate the process. Therefore, if a weakened enemy is nearby, it's sensible to land the finishing blow yourself. The quicker you tr the quicker to charge your groove. <laughs> I threw off my groove. Hi Chesh OMG, I totally didn't realize you're on. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's all good. Uh it's very low-key tonight. We're playing um War Groove, which is super cute. Um, it, it, it's a very low key night. You're good. You're good, 8 bit Sean. You're good. How are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you've thrown off. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you've thrown off the Emperor's Groove. <laughs> Place his key on high shelf. <laughs> No, it's no longer low key. Ah ha ha ha. But remember, we can't afford to lose you, so don't overstretch yeah. yourself. Okay, I understand. Thanks, Emmer. <laughs> low key? Sometimes I have low key energy, sometimes I am just a blob. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a blob in a cage. It's good, I'm starting to get up and. Start slowly getting ready to stream. But she's streaming tonight. <clears throat> Very well. <laughs> In a cage. Think. Well done, Queen Mercia. The first the villagers have made it safely to the pass. Keep going. Yay! Okay. 
this one. Then he's gone. We don't have to worry about him anymore. them together and oh, I want to move this guy uh, I don't want him close to the pikers this guy though I can move right there and when I get a chance I can shoot from a distance uh, this guy is gonna go over here and wait gosh I can't can't do anything more okay Although, can I load up? Hey, I can load up. All right. So with that, oh, wait, we can make we can make a unit. Uh, let's get another knight. That'll be handy. Put him to wait. I'll there. save you all. More villagers will keep you safe. my people. Oh no. I don't feel like I'm doing very well right now. Oh no. Okay. This is gonna go right here. I'm gonna drop that guy right there. I'm gonna load this guy in. Guy, we want to get him over there. Share one of your favorites from Pablo Block. Go for it, as long as it's not uh, like an over 18 piece of work. I'm good with it. Then go for it. Share away, friend. Another pikeman. Um, oh no. Why do I feel like I'm gonna lose? I'm not getting a critical, but it should still take the unit out. And I think if I'm standing right here, they can't summon, right? We'll put right there. Hmm. 
No! They're gonna get crits against my horsemen. <clears throat> no! My castle! Oh gosh. I am in big uh oh territory. Big uh ohs. This isn't good. that back. <clears throat> and then this guy can go over here and attack that unit. Lots of strategizing. Um wanna move him out of range of the pikemen. Oh, it's above the night pot. Uh... Oh yeah, the... I think you shared that last time. The the cute cat girl that Pubble Bonk get, did is super cute. So we're gonna attack this one. Hopefully that critical will mean something. <laughs> Sounds like a thing I'd do. Oh, I'm still not close enough. Uh, slow boat this guy over here. What am I missing? Oh, I can make another unit. Don't wanna look at a swordsman. Oh gosh. Another group of refugees, your majesty. Uh oh. Uh oh. I gotta get Mercia out of here. I'm gonna lose my commander. Oh, cry me. I'm gonna lose my commander. This isn't good. I think I'm gonna lose this mission. Uh, I'll save you all. Healing aura. And then, oh gosh, I'm not gonna get a critical, but it's still gonna do a decent amount of damage here. Okay, there we go. Gotta get this villager on there. And this guy needs to get close to that. Get this one. No, 
another unit to safety. ways. I think as long as I attack first, we're not going to have to worry about that. So there we go. No! My rangers! Babies! has the crackly bones. More units. Okay. Um. Want to move her up there? And drop the villager off. This guy in. This villager is gonna move. You, sir, are gonna move over here. We're gonna get these guys together down here. Finally, as a group. Do any damage. I just no, I can't charge. Okay, um just gonna attack this guy. over there. And turn. <laughs> These are the last of the refugees. Once they're safe, you must escape too. Oh no. My babies. No, my babies. Quit attacking my babies. He tries so hard. No, I'm gonna lose my my dude. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why that just seems so silly to me. This weather, Volder must be near. We must hurry, though it will be harder now. Our ranged ground units won't be able to fire as far in severe weather. Oh no. Where are my ranged units? Oh god, my ranged units are gone! Gotta get the villager babies to where they need to go! Alright, uh... Ranger... Although, I just said that wouldn't be a good idea. So, another knight. Critical hit this one though. Go down here. Found a one horsey there. Guys, we got a slow boat, move them all together as one. 
three. Okay, we're gonna move right there. Oh god, there's nothing to protect against. Uh. Gotta hope that he doesn't attack the villagers. My cavalry! My houses! Oh god, I'm doing awful. I'm definitely gonna get bad rank on this one. My dudes! A true queen would face ruin with her head held high. Volta. Your Highness! Queen, do not engage Boulder in battle. You can't defeat him, but you can save these people. I won't let you down. You're right, I won't let them down. Chesh, have you ever, ever heard of the game Heroes of Might and Magic 3? I have not. <clears throat> that sound interesting, I just have not heard of it. What is it about? strategy game similar to this but more advanced. I just love the art style and for some reason watching this made me think you like it. I might. I, I'm i not honestly very good at strategy games. Um, this is my first time kind of playing anything other than Final Fantasy Tactics when it comes to strategy. But I'm I'm having fun. The, the game style and play for this is really cute. And I like the the characters. Um, I just admit I'm I'm not great at strategy games. And as you can see, I'm actually kind of having a hard time. That being said, though, I'm doing my absolute best. Uh, I think everyone's been moved. What's it saying I need to do? Did I not move? Oh, I can create a unit. Right, right. Uh, I can't create a unit. Okay. End turn. Yeah. This is like full tactical. I'll send you some pics. I'll uh, I'll look into it. It, it sounds it sounds interesting. Hi, Charlie! How are you tonight? Um, we are playing War Group. And it's giving me some guff because I am not good at strategy games. <laughs> it's really cute, though. Rise from your oh, grave! No. no, he can. S of course, it makes sense that he can raise dead. God dang it. No! My guys are all gonna die. No, no! My babies! I'm- I'm trying, y'all. Oh, goodness. Uh... 
I think I'm just gonna start moving moving people to safety. I made an error. Oops. Um, charge. Doing better. About to cook some ham and eggs in a bit. Ooh, num num num. Enjoy your ham and eggs. My husband made me some homemade chicken tenders, which I am enjoying immensely right now. My husband makes. Some of the best food. Uh, not to brag, but I am very, very spoiled. And he has spoiled me a lot tonight with food. Um, he brought me like a cupcake, cheese curds, homemade chicken tenders, and uh, yeah, I feel very, very spoiled at the moment. And turn. Oh, he also got me sushi. It's been a lot. No, my guys. At least that one's not gonna crit, but still gonna take my unit out. Yeah. later. All right. Go enjoy your food. My queen. That was the last of the vi villagers. Time to get yourself to safety too. I'm on my way. So we gotta get Mercia to safety. Where is my icon? There it is. Yeah, probably just load her in the thing. Um. Technology! Ah! We're gonna do everything I can to protect this carriage. Including summon a unit question mark. Loader in the technology thing. <laughs> <coughs> the technology wagon. Well done, my queen. Grr. She escaped. Ragna. Ragna. Follow them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll hunt them down and turn them into mincemeat. <laughs> Sigrid. Sigrid, go with her. Make sure things get done. Make sure this gets done properly. Mm -hmm. And do you? Belheim needs its master. I trust you to I trust you to oversee this task. <sighs> Very well. Yay! Oh I got B rank at least. Yay! <sighs> that was close. <clears throat> we can't rest here. It's not safe. And we can't return without reinforcements. Huh? Can we just regroup and Valder is a skilled commander and the gauntlet he wields is the artifact 
is an artifact of immense power. To defeat him, we'll have to destroy it. But we haven't the strength to do that alone. So what do we do? We need to head east to Heaven's Song and seek aid from Empress Tenry. Tenry. Your father and the Empress were old friends. If anyone can help us, it's her. That's a long journey. Let's go! But we have to try. Huzzah! Come on, puppy! Come on, good boy! Good puppy! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, who are you? Is that a Pokemon? Fresh prey. <laughs> he looks like Scyther. Alright, on that note, y'all... Uh, you have unlocked the arcade game mode. Cool. And Arania. Ada ada. Right. Oop. On that note, we are going to save and exit. And uh, let's go raid. Who should we raid tonight? Thank you. I will endeavor to have a good night. I am honestly looking forward to going upstairs to my little one and my big one. No. What? Oh, 8-Bit. That looks like a cool game. That looks really cool. I'll have to, I'll have to check that out. If it's not too expensive, I might uh might get it. I think um we're gonna go check out who's streaming today. Uh, I'll I'll check it out. Um, I cannot guarantee that I'm going to be very good at it, but but an HD version of it came out recently. Sweet. Let's uh let's go find GM. Oh. Uh let's go raid GMzilla who is playing Warhammer Vermintide. And yeah. Give a give a give GM a warm uh, warm welcome. And lots of support from me, and I'll see you all again in the future for more Wargroove. Hopefully we get a little bit better at it. Bye, y'all. You all rock. You all rock. I'm gonna eat my food. And you all rock. Yeet! Yeet! Gonna eat y'all at GMZilla. Bye! <laughs>